Hi everyone, my name is Ban Jun Heng and I'm a Uni 10 student which is doing my final year and I'm working on my final year project which is titled uh, Home Automation Systems Well, I came across this Biz Chips magnet code software when I was looking on the internet for a better and creative way in doing my projects and after going into it, I, it proves that uh, I have made the right choice in the first place. Well, let's go into the introductions of my projects. So, this um, home automation systems of mine uh, consists of four output devices, which are uh, the light bulbs, um, a fan, which represents the acorn in the house, and I have an alarm systems, and these are the um, LED indicator for the alarm systems, which tells if the alarm systems is triggered or on or off. So let's get to it. The systems uh, enables the users to control using Bluetooth or SMS. Well, the user should use uh, Bluetooth to control it when they are in the house and when they are away from the house, they use SMS, which, is, um, which saves cost. So, uh, the users can on the lights by pressing the button on lights and then off the lights, turn on the acorn and then switch it off and also uh, turn on the alarm systems. Uh, as you can see, the LCD shows that it is initializing and after 5 seconds for the users to close the door, the alarm is uh, turned on and then when somebody breaches the door, open it, uh, the alarm trigger will uh, and then the siren will turn on and then it will send SMS and email to the users which is not inside the house at that moment perhaps and then here it says that alarm is triggered check the email for image so to turn off the alarm the users have to click on this button off and then the siren will turn off and then it will send another SMS to tell the users that the alarm has been turned off, turned off. So, and it has a automation function which enables the aircon to turn on only when the temperature, the room temperature has exceed the set points, which is 31 degrees Celsius in my case. So I turn on the automations. Oh, and in the automation mode, uh, the aircon is not, uh, is not able to turn on and off manually it is controlled by the temperature entirely so as you can see the aircon is now turned on which means that the temperature of the room is probably exceeds 31 degrees celsius so uh, I cannot turn it off you see I cannot turn it off because it is controlled by the automations so when I want to turn it off I need to turn off the auto first and then only I can turn it off so yeah, I think that's all. And then the uh, user can also see the temperature real time of the house by clicking this temperature. It will tell the user the temperature of the house. And then this user interface has also contains a reset button which will reset everything like for example, when I turn on the light and then I have the aircon turn on, I want to reset everything. I just press the reset and then everything will turn off. And then it has a status button which tells you, which tells the user what devices is currently on or off. Like when I turn on the light, I have the aircon turn on. When I press the status, the status will show that the light is on and then the aircon is on and everything else is off in the moment and then when I turn the light off 
and then the status will show the light is turned on and then the aircon is turned on and then yeah and then status will show everything is off all of these functions on the user interface here can be controlled as well using the SMS and so now I will show how to turn on the light using SMS so first I key in the word light on which is a command to turn on the light so I will send it to the phone here which is located at the house I'll send an SMS to this phone and then when this phone received the SMS oh sorry and I forgot to enable the SMS mode so if the SMS mode is not enabled you can't control you cannot control from the SMS you need to enable the SMS first before you can control so the SMS is already on and then receive the SMS just now and then the light is turned on and you can and then you the user will get a notifications message saying that the light is turned on and then same way you can turn it off by sending light off which is L O F F which represents lights off then you send to the uh, smartphone here then when this phone is received the message the light will turn off and then yeah that's all from me thank you